What's up guys, how the heck are you doing? Welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Drew Sefer and on this channel I talk about filmmaking and photography tips, tricks, and tutorials. And today's video is no exception because I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do something super gnarly. So, have you ever wanted to track text or an image to an object? Well, I'm gonna show you guys how to do exactly that in only five minutes easily in DaVinci Resolve. So there's a multitude of reasons of why you would wanna do something like that. Maybe it is to just troll your friends with a video, or perhaps it is to make your video look a little more sleek and up the production value of your video and your channel. Another thing that you could do is if you're reviewing a product, you could show the product and you could have the specs pop up on screen and wherever you move the product, that text or image tracked will follow. So uh, we've only got five minutes for me to teach you this and you only have five minutes of your time that you wanna spare learning this. So let's go ahead and let's jump into DaVinci Resolve because the clock is ticking. Let's go. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve and we are in the edit page. So first and foremost, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this text tracking on the very video you're watching right now. That intro, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So all we wanna do is we wanna drag our playhead here until we want to start where our text tracking begins. So I wanna say right about here because it's where I start talking about it. You wanna hit B on your keyboard, it brings up your razor tool and you wanna click there to make a split in the clip. Now we wanna to go to the end of where we want our tracking to stop, and I would say probably right about here before I put the cup down. Hit it with your razor tool again. Hit A to bring up your selection tool, highlight the clip, and scroll your playhead over it. Now you wanna hit Shift 5 to take you to the Fusion panel. So here on the Fusion panel, down here you have these nodes, and this is essentially the beginning of your clip, and this is the end of your clip, and this yellow line is everything in between. This is where we're gonna track the text at. So if you hit Shift Spacebar, it brings up this menu. We want to type in Tracker. It is right here, we're gonna hit Add, and we don't want it to be added to the end here. We actually want it to be here in the middle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and then we're gonna take this and connect it just like that. All right, so now we have our tracker and you see right here we have this green box. This green box is our tracker selection box. So what I'm gonna do is in order to track something easily, you wanna make sure there's high contrast values there. So I'm gonna make sure that I have a black and white spot selected. And this outer box right here, this is essentially where it's going to look for that selection. So it's only gonna look in the range of this cup. So if I minimize this a little bit more right here, I think that'll do the trick. And then up here in this right corner in your inspector, I'm gonna hit track forward from current time. So watch this. So this may take just a few seconds, I'll speed it up, but um, you can see down in the bottom right says it will take 50 seconds. So let's fast forward till this gets done. So there you have it, it tracked accurately. And you can tell because you can see as it's tracking, if you watch it, you can see if the green box stays on the, uh, the point that you were tracking. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter past this, and I'm gonna go back down here and we're gonna add some text. I wanna make sure that I click on my media in node. I'm gonna hit shift spacebar again, and we're gonna type in the word text. This is how we're gonna add some text or a title to this. So let's go ahead and let's hit add. Now, I don't need this merge here. We're gonna just cut this out of there. We're gonna bring the text up top and we're gonna connect it to our tracker just by pulling this and connecting it down. So let's go ahead, select our text node and let's type in, uh, let's just say coffee cup. Um, now you can't see the text on screen yet because you have to go to your tracker node, click it, go up here to your top right inspector, go to operation, 
and go to match move. Now you'll see your text. So I'm gonna go back, select my text, and I'm going to reduce the size. I can grab right here, and I can move this text where I want it. And let's go back to Shift 4, and then you'll see that our text is tracked. Easy as that. So whether you're doing an image, you would do the same thing. You would just track the image to that point. All right, so I hope you guys were able to follow along. This technique is super easy to achieve and it makes your videos look way more polished. I do wanna say that I talked about this a little bit earlier in the intro and I wanna say I do run community post polls here on this channel. And one of the videos you guys said you would like to see is live streams on this channel where we do real-time editing and I converse with you guys and answer your questions. So I picked this up, so I do listen to you, so expect some live streams coming on the channel very soon. Live streaming is new to me, so I have a little bit of a learning curve, but uh, I'm pretty sure I can handle it. So beyond that, if you guys are getting any value out of this channel, make sure that you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ding the bell so you don't miss any more killer content from the Drucifer channel. As always, stay rad, just go shoot, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.